We're going to go up here to, what is it, Coker Creek Falls? Coker Creek Falls. We're going to go to Coker Creek Falls, and we're going to see what we can find out. I'm going to I'm gonna take a couple lessons from him. He's a lot more experienced in, in prospecting, and I've got a lot to learn. So, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. I think m and &M prospecting has brought us out to Bigfoot country. <laughs> so is this, is this where we're at? This is where we're at. The creek's right over here, and we're going to try and get in it and see what happens. Awesome. I tell you what, guys, we're out of here at PFE. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. I'd say, what, 25 <laughs> minutes on that road? Yeah, and it was a rough road. It was definitely a rough road, a lot of trees down and stuff, so if anybody ever comes this way, make sure and uh, be careful and possibly bring a dang chainsaw. Right. So we're going to get down to the creek. We'll be back. Just to make it perfectly clear, we have not seen any... <laughs> Oh now, <laughs> not seen any private property signs or any national forest signs of you. Nope. you? nope. So I think Sluicing is going to be okay. Mike over there helping Eric get his sluice fox sled up because sled up sluice fox sled up because we need lessons. And uh, I got my stand sport set up right there. Looks like it's got pretty decent flow. If I drop my phone in the water, my lady's gonna shoot me. But, there you go, we got some, little bit of catch right here. I'm not exactly sure when Mike gets done with Eric. I'm gonna see if he'll kinda teach me. He seems, and he admitted by no way is he a expert or a professional, but he's been doing it long enough to share his information and willing to teach us. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm about to fall down. All right, so I started right here and got me a couple flakes, two to be exact. Now I flipped this rock over and I've got what's underneath it. Now I know some of this stuff right here is going to fall in there, but that's just a part of it. But right here we've got a bucket. I'm going to get the cons out of it. Pan it down and see if this area is good. If this area is good, I'm just going to fill my bucket up and I'm going to take it over here to my sluice. And I'm going to work it out. As for the rest of the adventure, m, m Prospecting has went downstream. We got Eric over here getting cons for a sluice box, panning them out. Those guys down there doing an amazing job. They've already showed us a lot. They're getting cons so that they can take them home. <laughs> Damn, I went down. Oh, my wallet got wet. Woo! Down went solo. Let's take this thing back up here and put it right here. Now, I will admit all day long I've had uh, Eminem prospecting songs stuck in my head. But I have a I couldn't carry a tune if it fit in my pocket. So... That's the rock right there that just got me. We trekked all the way down that there. Coker Creek and found a snapper down there with his son. Picking up rocks and said he found a couple pickers last weekend. He said the area has worked so hard that it's hard to find anything. So what I've got is, a, let me get some water out of this. I have dug out a crevice and found some black sands on a wash up beach area. Go down there. Don't go down there. Stay. Don't leave me, brother. Don't leave me. Him and him prospecting are heading back up. It has been an awesome. I went straight through the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah, it's deep. You know me. Head first. Him and him prospecting has, has taught us a lot, a lot of the ways to, to watch the water, to read the land and read the water. See their gear sitting over there. They got the gold hog flow pan. Been showing us kind of how that works. Eric's got a bunch of stuff over there. Tubs and cups and canteens and, dang, I should have grabbed a canteen and got a drink. But, hopefully you guys enjoy. And basically what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna get me a handful and I'm going to feed it. The 
get the big stuff out of there. Now I'm not sure how well this, this carpet's gonna work because this is the original carpet, but I can't really afford to get any dream mat or any kind of gold mat right now. So I'm kind of working with what I've got. Can't really see if there's anything in there or not. But I'll show you Eminem prospecting when they trip back up here. Alright. Now for some reason the there we go. Focus. Focus. This rock I'm sitting on is extremely uncomfortable. But there we go. We got Eminem prospecting coming back up. Got their cons. Got their gold hog flow pan. Definitely, like I said, we have learned a lot. Eminem prospecting is an amazing, beautiful couple. Definitely go check their channel out. The link will be in the description below. You're more than welcome to like and subscribe and comment. Eric over there said, to heck with it. I'm dumping the bucket. I'm tired of this garbage. But... We'll do a little bit of thing at the end with them, and we'll see you here in just a flash. Guys, this is what I have pulled out from my sluice, and uh, I want to make sure and get a word from Eminem Prospecting so that everybody knows exactly what they're about. Guys, this was about finding gold, but it was also about meeting new friends, and we have enjoyed today. We've shared knowledge. We even met somebody else on the creek. And they were sharing a little knowledge with us. Did we find gold? We found some flower gold. And we found a piece of wire gold. That is beautiful. That is the find of the day. Other than us finding each other. And I want to make sure that everybody knows that to go over and check out Eminem Prospecting. That right there was worth more than anything because meeting new people and supporting each other and that's how we grow these communities and the gold community and the corn community everybody is so great and we love each and every one of you guys so give us a thumbs up throw us a like leave us a comment subscribe tell your buddies all right there you have it ladies and gentlemen another successful adventure but Eric? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With well, Eminem prospecting. Then how much did we learn? Quite a bit, actually. A lot. I learned a lot. So just uh, everybody make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.